Praise God. Yes. Can we just uh, rise together? Just come before the Lord. Show sure us we join us. Yes. Let's thank Jesus for this time once again in His presence. Let's bless Jesus. Let's appreciate him. He is Lord. He is King. He is the mighty one. He alone is God. We stand on his sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. We're able to come this morning before the throne of grace because of the sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. As we come into the Easter season, we want to particularly appreciate our Lord Jesus. We want to particularly call to mind his finished work and his steadfastness. I want to thank him for going all the way. And he finished the race. And he paid the price in full. Which is why we can come before you, Lord Jesus, this morning. So Lord, we thank you. We enthrone you, O oh Lord, this morning in our midst, O oh Lord. But we ask that you be enthroned, O oh Lord, in the praises of your people today. We ask, Lord, that you will accept our sacrifice of praise and adoration. Let everything that we do in the house today be to the glory of your name. Thank you, Lord, for your blood, which covers the multitude of our errors, O Lord. Thank you that we can approach because of your blood that was shed, a precious, sinless blood of the Lamb. So, Lord, we empty ourselves of ourselves this morning. And we ask that you will take control of this meeting. Spirit of living God, have your way. Let all that is done and said today be according to your direction. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Good to see you. Yes. Those online, we appreciate you joining us. God bless you. Thanks for joining us. Just thank the Lord for his goodness. As you worship the Lord, we just want to keep in mind the season that we're in, season of remembrance of our Lord's crucifixion <coughs> on the Mount of Calvary. Amen. Hallelujah. Man of God. God bless you. I hope you're here to celebrate the Lord. Thank you. Let's see you. Let's see you. God bless you. I'm so glad. Celebrate Jesus.
Before we started singing, we said, are you ready to celebrate the Lord? You know, when God says we should be like children, that is why he's God, because he knows what that means. Humility and freedom in the Lord. As we were worshiping, I was watching those beautiful children in that corner, and they were celebrating the Lord. They were jumping and dancing. That is the way we're meant to be before our Father. So as we worship this morning, let us humble ourselves. Let us go back to being children before the Father, before the maker of heaven and earth. Because he paid the ultimate price for our salvation. He laid his own life down that we can be set free. So this morning we want to bring a new song called Man of Sorrow. It talks about the sacrifice. It talks about the love of God. Express through his sacrifice on the cross of Calvary for us. So as we sing, we want to invite you to join us. If you know it, please join us. And even if you don't, just pray the words as we sing. It's quite straightforward and simple, so we should be able to pick it up. Man of sorrow, Lamb of God. Yeah. 
that my Jesus built. Now the curse of sin has no hold on me. Whom the Son sets free, oh, is free. in full a debt that is overwhelming that we can never fulfill never pay he paid it in full so why don't we just give him praise and honor this morning just thank him for the sacrifice thank him for salvation thank you for the blood we bless you this morning oh God we give you all the glory. We give you all the praises, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be worshipped, to be praised, to be adored. So we honor you this morning with our worship, with our praises, O oh God. Because you are worthy. You are my strength. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my only Lord. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up, I'll be a fool. You are my only Worthy. 
Taking my sin, my cross, my shame Rising again, I bless your name You are my all in all When I fall down, you pick me up And when I am dry, you fill my cup You are my all Lovely to be back again. I don't know what happened in the last few weeks. Got into bed. No pain, no aches, no signs or anything. The next morning, could I get up? No. Two hours later, I managed it. Uh, and that's trying all that time. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I said, God must be saying something to me. Because when you're wrapped up in pain, faith, you've got to rely on that. But with faith, it's your knowledge of God. Because He has said, I will answer your prayer. Ask and you shall receive. And this is what the Lord gave me. Okay, in 2 Timothy. I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I know whom I have believed. I know whom I have believed. So, my brothers and sisters, friends, whoever, never give up. Because God will always honour His Word. Always. Right? And if you don't know Him, Yet, if you don't know Him yet, get there to know Him today because it's worth it, well worth it. 
He won't let you down. You know, I've had some experiences which, well, time will, it'll take me too long to tell you. One day, perhaps I will. But all I can say is, I know whom I have believed. And he hasn't let me down at all. Not at all. Father, just thank you again for your faithfulness. Thank you again, Lord that you do honour your word. And whatever you've said, it shall be so. You will do. We thank you for that. We thank you for sending your son to die on the cross to take away our sin. We thank you for sending your son so we can say, I know whom I have believed. Thank you, Lord, for that. So, Lord... I look forward to greater things from you today. And all that you've said to me, thank you, Lord. I know you will honour that and you'll keep your word. So I thank you for that painful experience. I thank you, Lord, for me drawing closer to you. And again I say, Thank you, Lord, that I can say, I know whom I believed. Amen. I know to whom I belong. I know who I am in Christ. His word never fails. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but my word remains the same. From everlasting to everlasting, he is God. He remains God forever. Full of power. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and in all the ways of man, you were here.